Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video on generating the test data in a few seconds, like it within just three steps. And uh, we are going to use this uh, tool, Auto Test Data Generator. I'm really liking it. There are some really good stuff that you can do, and then it will make your life very easy with respect to test data management. And a couple of things that practically I'm using it, like for example, separate it by pipe, and then you can generate the data in the form of SQL. You can generate the data with JSON. And then if any specific language, a specific object array or any kind of array or data set that you want, you can use JavaScript or XML or uh, HTML, CSV, Excel. So multiple options are available. And the good thing is that the, you can pick your own data. And then you can create, uh, you can define your own data type. What is a property name? What are different options are available? You can manipulate it and then you can generate n number of rows n number of data set you can generate with this particular tool, with this particular uh, utility, absolutely free to use. You don't need to install anything. Just simple go to autotestdata.com. You can just uh, log in, simple sign up, log in. And then after that, uh, you will be landing over here. Here, what we just need to do, we just need to define whatever the data that you want. For example, let's say I want only name and phone number email. I don't want uh, currency and number range and that's it. And uh, I really want to create a JSON file and then only one row that I want. Let's start with the one row and then simple click on generate. And you will see that a specific row got generated over here. If I same thing, if I really want an XML, you can generate an XML format also here. If I want, uh, let's see, same SQL query, and then I can clearly see one statement insert into my table. These are the three columns and these are the values. Same thing if I wanted, okay, no, I want 10 rows, then you can generate 10 rows over here and all the data is actually a unique data. That's really great. If you're really working with, let's say, some data-driven approach or data management with respect to pipe-separated data you really want to maintain, that also you can easily maintain like this. And this can be used in your uh, uh, Cucumber feature file and all such things where we create scenario outline, create examples uh, table, and then you can date, uh, maintain the row and column values like this. I'll show you practically a couple of examples also. Same thing if you are looking for, let's say, some comma-separated values for your test data point of view that also you can generally uh, generate it over here and all the data is quite unique all the data it looks like a, although it's a fake data but looks like a very meaningful name it's not like some abcd or test one two three data that we are using it different domains like yahoo email uh, gmail that um, they are using it here okay so let's do some couple of things um for example let's say i really want to generate my sql uh, insert query, I really want to dump the data, let's see 10, 20, 30 rows, I really want to quickly uh, generate the test data for that. And I really want to fill into my database. For example, let's see, this is my MySQL database. And here you can see the column names like first name, last name, email, telephone, password, and country. And right now, if I hit any query, let's see, I'm hitting one SQL query. Right now, I don't have uh, any data available in this particular table. So see, it's a uh, zero row. I don't have anything. Okay. So I really want to generate a data for this. So how will you generate it? So let's do this now. So I'll go to my auto test data. So what if the column names that you have, let's see first name, last name, email, you just need to maintain the same column names here. So first name that they have given uh, with the data type like names and uh, my column name will be, let's see first name. And then what kind of data you want to generate with the name? See, this is the micro level detail also that they have given that let's see full name, first name or the last name. I'll say, okay, it should be a first name. Again, if you really want to change it, whatever the property name, the column name, you can maintain it here. Second data, let's see, I have uh, after that uh, last name and the email. I'll say, okay, I want to generate the email and uh, email could be anything. For example, let's see, email is a column name and then just let it be like this over here. Okay, as such, we don't have any option for that uh, because it doesn't require any option for that. Third thing is, let's see, I'm looking for uh, again names and then I'm looking for the last name. So here I'm writing, let's see, this is my uh, last name. And then after that, we have two more things, password and the country also. So password is what, uh, it could be alphanumeric value. So I'll select the fourth row and then I can select that, okay, I'm looking for one alphanumeric uh, password. So you can give your column name here, let's see, password. And the password should be, I'm saying the length should be eight. Okay, something like this, you can give that. 
and uh, once again i'm selecting what a country so for country they have given one dedicated uh, you know data type over here country and then the column name is also country as such we don't need any option over here so here you can see first name email last name password and the country right and if you really want to select some more data type that also you can do it let's say you really want to select the region also or any specific uh, number range also if you want to select that date also if you really want to select you can add it over here see date and then the date format you can just use it here like this so i don't want to use date so just uh, let it be like this because these are the five columns i have first i'll do one thing i'll select the sql option from here and then from this option let's see i'll generate only one row so let's one and then generate let's see what kind of uh, sql query so it's giving me this one and then i'm just going to copy this then going back to my database client and then uh, this is the sql client that i'm using it and just uh, paste it over here and i just need to change my uh, table name the table name is whatever the customer and first name email last name password and country and it should be one to one mapping so here you can see the first name is Shana, Shana, email ID, the last name is Hamas, password and the country, form rows or whatever it is. And then I'm going to hit this particular query from here. So uh, let's hit this, click on go. So it's saying that uh, insert into this, maybe we are doing mistake, uh, first name in the field first. So it's actually R is missing. That's a mistake from our side. Okay. Now let's quickly enter it again. So you can see the data got inserted over here. It means over here also we have done a spelling mistake. It should be first name here. Okay, that's good. That okay, we got this particular error so that we can quickly fix it over here as well. Now I'll do one thing. I'm going to generate one more time. And uh, see, it's uh, generating once again. And when the moment you click on generate, every time it will give you a new data. So let's see now again, it's giving you the data for Rick. Copy this query and then come back here. And then again, go back to the SQL. This time, I'm just uh, pasting it here. And whatever the table name, this is a table name, is customer. Click on go. And one more entry got entered here. If you really want to go to the browse, here you can see that two entries got added here. Now, I'll do one thing. I really want to generate, uh, let's see, around 25 rows and then generate. So 25 insert, I mean, one insert query with the 20 set of data or 25 set of data will be generated here. I just do one thing, copy from here, come back here, go to the SQL database or whatever the client that you're using it, paste it here, just change your what table name. So let's see my table name is customer. Okay. So this is the data that I'm going to insert and then click on go. In one single show, 24, uh, five rows got inserted. You can go to the browse and you can check that. Okay. Yeah. The data is available here. If you really want to hit your SQL query, select query that also you can do it. For example, I'm doing the select a star from customer and uh, run it again. So here you can see that. Okay. Yeah. Whatever data that we have inserted, it's getting inserted over here. Although the telephone that we have not mentioned, that's what we are not inserting the telephone. Let's see, now I really want to add telephone also. That also we can do it. So for example, let's see, uh, I'm going to add a phone, something like this, add it, and then the it should be telephone, okay? And the telephone format, something like this, it's given whatever the format that you really want to use. Let's say I want to generate the telephone number only with 91, plus 91 format in this particular format. And I don't want any dash in between. Okay, because here in India we don't use dash, so it's a 10 digit number that I'm going to generate. And uh, let's see again, uh, generate one SQL query first. Let's see, it is picking or not. So this time is giving the phone number also, like this. Copy this and then let's hit it, come back here, go back to your SQL and uh, paste it here, and then run this query. Let's see, this time data got generated or not. Sorry, my mistake once again, just simple add the customer table, whatever table name that you are having it. Awesome. So here you can see that, okay, yeah, one entry for this guy got created and then you can go to the browse to see the data. And then uh, for the one telephone entry, we are getting it here. For other guys, we have not entered anything because I prepared my test data accordingly. Now for upcoming rows, I have added another data over here and then that's it. So that's a very good, uh, uh, utility i would say just to make your life easy and then quick thing that you can do it over here and i really liked it the concept over here you can select your own data type and then whatever the type of data you want to select you can do it over here
right? Same thing, you can generate some, uh, let's see, <clears throat> pipe separated data also if you want to generate. So for example, let's see, separated by pipe and then click on generate. And here you can see that, okay, yeah, this is the data. I can just simply copy this, adjust my column names accordingly. For example, I'm using it over here and then paste it here. That's it, right? Although for Bangladesh, it should not be 9-1, but yeah, that's a dummy data. That's fine. And then you can just simple use it like this. Then once again, let's say I really want to generate some no, uh, 10 more rows. I want to generate a pipe separated. Just, okay, copy all these guys from here to here and come back here. And in the second row, you can just paste it here and that's it. After that, just format it, control shift L, and then it will be formatted over here like that. So you can see first name, email, last name, password, country. And these are the first telephone number. I mean, column names. I'm having it in the respective data I'm available here in my examples table. So yeah, I mean, quickly you can generate uh, such kind of data. If you really want to use it in your JavaScript, that also you can use it. For example, let's see, this is uh, along with this, I really want to create one JavaScript object. So let's create that. Let's see, select this JavaScript, generate it. And this is one variable data got created here. You can see that it's having a array. Uh, this sign is for array. And this is a first entry in the array. And this entire first entry having these number of attributes. You can really want to cross check. You can just simply go and check uh, in the console or you can use it in your Visual Studio code just to check that it's really working or not. So here you can see that, see, this is a variable data. And if I really want to uh, print this particular console dot a log and then print the data from here. And here you can see that, yeah, we are getting the data over here. So you can use it in your script also. If you really want to prepare your data with JavaScript, if you're using Cypress Playwright with JavaScript, that also you can use it directly here. That's great. Same thing if you really want to generate the Excel sheet. So that also you can do it. So just select, let's see 10 rows, select Excel and then generate. And then, yeah, this is the data. After that, if you really want to download, you can download any of the files. What is the data you want to download? If it is Excel, it will be downloaded with the .xlsx format here. You can see auto test data .xlsx. When I open it, the respective Excel sheet will be created automatically. And then you can just go and check it here. That's it. See the data is available here. Whatever the data, if you really want to use this data in your script for your test data point of view, that also you can easily do it here. What else we can do? <clears throat> Other than that, uh, if you have uh, any specific, uh, let's see, JSON, that also will see. Now this time the, the rows array count will be 10. Same thing, if you want to generate one XML, XML document also, you can generate it over here. If you really want to use XML for SOAP based API or REST API, you can use it here. If you really want to quickly create one HTML table, that also you can do it. So this is the, uh, you know, uh, these are the column names, TH. And then, then we have the respective data in number of TRs are available like this. So this is simple dummy table will be created with the dummy uh, data, a web table. You can create it directly from here. Same thing, comma separated values. Also you can generate 10 rows. If you really want to use CSV files, comma separated CSV means comma separated values, which are available here. If you really want to generate with that approach that also you can do it over here. You can see all the comma separated values and then. If you really want to generate like some other scripting languages like PHP, Ruby, Python, Perl, that also you can do it. I personally loved uh, SQL and uh, separated by pipe, CSV, Excel, JSON, and XML because these are the four or five types of formats I always use in my script, especially with the Cucumber separated by pipe, SQL to prepare the data quickly and then <clears throat> just insert the data and then you and just absolutely good to go with that. And then it's totally up to you that uh, there are various options are available. If you want to add more columns, more data types, you can add it. For example, number range that you want to generate, just simple add it. And whatever the column name that you want to write, let's see, um, looking for a number column name is age and age should start with from one to 99 only. So now it will generate the data only between one to nine for the age column. That also you can do it. If you really want to add date column, that also you can add it over here. Whatever, let's see, I'm saying this is my uh, start date. This is the column name. And then you can write it, whatever the format that you have. So various formats are available. You can see here, uh, uh, day wise and hyphen wise, and then forward slash comma separated and all those things. So let's see, I'll pick this one along with the uh, day and then 
May 21st, 23. So it will generate the data according in the same format of for the dates. If I really want to add something else, let's see currency also. That's also good. This is also good. Let's see. I'm saying only for currency and currency start end. That is what they have given. Entry currency type like dollar, INR, euro, or leave it to generate in dollars. So whatever. Let's say I really want to generate in INR. That also you can do it here. And start range and end range also you can give it from there. What else we have? Uh, postal zip code street. If you really want to generate any alpha text, that also you can do it. Alpha means only text value if you want to generate. Email also if you really want to add that we have already added over here. So see, it will take uh, Gmail. See, there's a message is coming. Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook. Leave blank for random. Okay, but if you really want to, I mean, generally it is just using Gmail, Yahoo, and Hotmail and Outlook.com. These four domains, it will take it uh, for you. I think the most of the data types are available. That's really, really great. And then you can just start exploring it. It looks very simple. And actually it's very simple to use, but uh, advantages are really great. You can generate the data quickly and then there is no limit for that. If I really want to generate, let's see hundred, a number of uh, CSV values that I want to generate. And it's very, very quick. You can see that hundred rows are available here. And that's great. If I really want to generate, let's try, uh, with the SQL also, that also you can do it. So let's see, now I want to see, yeah, this is what uh, with SQL only we have created this. And it's not like it's getting broken and it's not working. See, 100 uh, comma SQL data in the same insert query, you can easily dump into the database. You don't need to write it manually. I mean, that's really great, great feature, very handy. It will make your life super easy and then uh, quickly you can generate a data like this. Okay, so you will start exploring it. If you really want to delete a specific column, you can delete that. If you really want to copy the specific duplicate row, also you can create it from here. You can delete it, all these actions here. And like it's super easy to use it. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's really good to go. So let me know what you think about it. It's created by Sanjay and then uh, the tool name is auto test data. You don't need any plugin for this. You don't need any permission for that. It's uh, freely hosted and then Simple hit autotestdata.com and then you are absolutely good to go with that. So that's all. Please share this video with others. Let me know in case of uh, any issues, if you're facing any bug or something like this, you can contact me and Sanjay also. You can just write in the comment section. And then if you really want to have more data types, just add it in the, okay, in the comment section. Maybe we will try to add more data types for you over here. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.